Hi, this is Pamela from Animal Justice Emergency. Today I'm going to be talking about a whole different way of looking at the fight for justice for all animals. Animal rights, animal liberation, total liberation, whatever you call it. I've been doing some reading. I read this book called Total Liberation by Anonymous and it's published by Active Distribution in Croatia and you can find it and get it online. Basically what it's talking about is the system that we live in capable of being changed. So I'll be describing a little bit about the system that we live in. It's often invisible and thoughts about how we can think about an alternative. So the system that we live in is basically neoliberal capitalism, which is like a belief system as much as a so-called economic system. And it's all about entrenched structures of power along the lines of wealth, gender, race, ability and of course speciesism, human supremacy and a lot of the time we're, these structures of power are invisible to us and that's a problem with our campaigning because if the whole structures of power that support the system that we live in are invisible and we're sort of like just looking at one of those structures of power, the oppression of animals, other living beings and the other structures of power stay in place, does it mean that we've got any chance of success? It's an uncomfortable question and it's given me a lot of grief and challenges. A part of this has come about because I have noticed for a time, I've talked about this before, you know, how some vegans are, you know, there's the concept of, yes, if we talk to enough people, if there are enough vegan sausages, vegan burgers in the supermarkets, you know, more plant-based ice creams, you know, it's only a matter of time and, you know, the, a vegan world is possible. I agree that a vegan world is possible, but I don't think we've got the time. So that's the other thing, you know, even with, say, a lot of campaigning, whatever kind of campaigns we do, or whether it's more performative sort of actions like marches or saves or cubes, even if it's like targeted campaigns, We've got, still got such a colossal problem with the embedded human supremacy of our culture that it's not really making a significant dent. Now, why is the time scale so important? Because we live in a world of is completely threatened now by global meltdown, basically by catastrophic climate change, by diversity loss. And we've obviously all had the experience of coronavirus, which is still, you know, dragging on. Which puts a real emphasis on the short time that we have to act. And that would seem to imply to me the need for some kind of more of a radical approach. But of course, nobody wants to have a radical approach or very few people. I don't really want to have a radical approach. I just wish, you know, I could wake up tomorrow and, you know, that the, all the animals that had been prisoners were released. They were wandering around the streets. People would spontaneously care for them. People would be like, oh my God, I can't believe I ever ate, you know, dead animal bodies. What was I thinking of? You know, is that going to happen? Well, even with the best will in the world, and I've thought about this so much, I can't see how it's going to change with the sort of campaigning and outreach that we have. It's not going to change quick enough. So what do we need to do? First of all, we need to read some books and to talk to other vegans and activists and really start to bring our analyses of the situation into a kind of a firmer base of reality because basically most vegans like most people are still we're sort of drifting along you know oh yes well we're coming out of lockdown now and you know 
and then you know things will be back to normal well what is normal normal is the fact that we're faced with catastrophic climate break but not faced with it's happening you know and we've been given a, a, a sort of like a finger in the air figure of you know was it 10 or 12 years before you know it all melts down all the the feedback loops are locked in completely well it's basically now we need everything needs to be now the animal activism needs to be now which brings us back to the whole sort of consumerism capitalism neoliberal system that we're living in this system is breaking down now the system that we're living in that our sense of our, our actual normal in the West I'm talking about here, not necessarily a majority of world countries, which are in a different setup, although similar. Um, our notion of what is normal is really crumbling. Coronavirus has done that, but it's actually happening on many different levels. We can't run away from catastrophic climate breakdown and biodiversity loss and all the other horrendous things that are happening with the natural world that we are consuming and destroying. The natural world is being consumed and destroyed by global capitalism, the neoliberal imperialism. Okay. And if those words sound a bit like, oh, radical, what's she on about, boring, switch over or switch off, or give it a thumbs down. That is part of the problem as well, because until we educate ourselves on the reality, by reading books like Total Liberation, you know, changing the, the, the system is key. Changing the type of system that we have is absolutely key. The solutions at the moment are to get together and to talk to other people about how we can move this forward, to educate ourselves and maybe come up with some notions of what is required. I certainly don't have all the answers, but I'm becoming increasingly frustrated and concerned about where animal activism is. The vegan movement, the lack of, I find a massive lack of coherence and I find this, as do many others, uh, a, a huge reflection of the power dynamics as do many others that are in our current unsustainable societies maintained and upheld in the animal movement. So I'll be putting out a series of videos about what we can do, how we can actually address this. It's a lot to think about. This is animal justice emergency. Together we can fight. We can win the war on animals.